Hello and welcome to ISTV News. I am Subhla Kangabam. Let's look at the top stories. Manipur team back two gold medal, one silver and one bronze medal in cycling and judo events in the ongoing 35th National Games. And now the news in detail. On the 12th day of the ongoing 35th National Games in Kerala, Manipur team has bagged two gold medals, one silver and one bronze medal in the event of cycling and judo. In the 200m sprint cycling event, CH Rameshwari bagged a gold medal. CH Sunivala bagged a gold medal in the 70kg of judo event. CH Devan bagged a silver medal in the Wusu event. Moreover, Manipur team also backed a bronze medal in the cycling event. The players are Sunita, Rameshwari, Sonia, Bijalakshmi and Abe. Manipur team is hoping for medals in the Taekwondo, Busu, Fencing and Judo event today. The medal tally of Manipur team are 17 gold, 15 silver and 18 bronze totally to 50 medals. Lions and Lioness Club Kantipur conducted its annual official visitation program yesterday at Laisemba Catering Services Center at Thongju Part 2. District Governor H. Manikumar was facilitated at the program. As part of the program, a souvenir was also released containing the annual reports. Speaking on the occasion, C.H. Manikumar said, The duty of the members of the Lions Club is to work for the welfare of the people and to become a leader as well. Till date, there are seven persons at Lions Club, Kanchipur, who has received the Melvin Dawn's Fellowship. It's the result of their hard work and dedication that they are able to receive the fellowship, he said. Of being a land member, pride of being, pride of belonging, pride of belonging to the largest service club for my school. I think we pride to stay in those guys. I think we, I think we, Lions International, we, vision, we, smile. Uh, to be the global leader in the community and environmental services. To be the global leader in the community and environmental services. Okay, with OAL. Narendra Lakshmi, who backed two gold medals in a single skull and double skull rowing event at the 35th National Games, was felicitated at Sunusifai Community Hall today. Pradhan of Fubala GP Bimcha and other villagers took part in the felicitation program. And now moving on to some national international news. Over a 15-minute Taipei Charcha at Prime Minister Narendra Modi's race course road in residence this morning, Arvind Kanjiwal invited him for his art ceremony on Saturday as Delhi Chief Minister. The PM has prior appointments and regretted that he will be unable to attend, sources said. After the meeting, Manish Sisodia, who accompanied Kerjewal, said they had a good talk with the Prime Minister and told him that there is a majority government at Sandar and Delhi, hence this is a golden opportunity for the two governments to work in close coordination. Sisodia also said that they demanded full statehood for Delhi and Modi has assured to look into it. Sisodia said that the Prime Minister will not attend Mr. Kejriwal's art taking ceremony because of his prior engagement in Maharashtra. According to sources, the party is likely to give a more prominent role to senior lead party leader Mani Sisodia. He is likely to be made the Deputy Chief Minister of the state. Rashtriya Soyam Sevak Sangha and Bharatiya Janata Party Poll Committee is scheduled to meet on February 15 to analyze Delhi elections debacle. BJP failed to counter the scary mastic and street smart IIT Kharagpur graduate Arvind Kejriwal and the party was reduced to single digits in the 70-member assembly. Jagdish Pradhan, Oprah Sharma and Vijendra Gupta are the only three BJP candidates who withstood the AAP tsunami and managed to win their seats in Delhi Assembly election. 
Congress MP Sashi Tharoor is being questioned today for the second time on the alleged mother of his wife Sunanda Puskar a year ago. Tharoor had last been questioned on January 19 when he was reportedly asked over 50 questions by a team of four officers. The Delhi police say this session is linked to the questioning of Sid Menon, the son of Sunanda Puskar, by a previous marriage earlier this month. Sources say the Indian Premier League may come up during the questioning. Mr. Tharoor had to resign as Union Minister in 2010 after accusations of corruption linking him to the cricket franchise for his home state of Kerala. Ms. Puskar was allegedly given stakes worth about 15 million US dollar, which is around 94 crore rupees for free. Attacking Prime Minister Narendra Modi, JDU leader Nitish Kumar today alleged that he was behind the move to allow Bihar Chief Minister Jitan Ram Manji more time to prove his majority so that horse trading of MLAs could be done. Denouncing the decision to ask Manji to prove majority on February 20 and not immediately as demanded by him, Kumar said the governor was following the script written at the highest level in the national capital so that license for horse trading given by the sender could be executed. Accusing ruling BJP of throttling democracy, he said the Saffron Party has told Manji to lure about 35 MLAs if he needed their support and is helping him in doing so. Stepping up its recruitment drive, Terror Outfit Islamic State launched an online guide to show potential recruits how to sign up. ISIS has been successful in recruiting potential jihadis from all over the world, mostly through social media. The group has released a 50-page guidebook for prospective ISIS recruits who are willing to travel to Syria. The handbook includes tips for slipping through airport security and sneaking across the Syria border. However, it has not been verified if the guide has been released from ISIS or is it by just a sympathizer. The group is targeting an English-speaking audience as the guide features an English-speaking jihadi. And before we wind up, the top stories once again. Manipur team back two gold medals, one silver and one bronze medal in cycling and judo events in the ongoing 35th National Games. Well, thank you so much for joining with us and stay tuned for more news.